Hi, I'm Lara Dalby. I am the wig master and makeup supervisor here at the Milwaukee Rep. I came here in 1999. Came in to assist Kevin McElroy, who was the wig master at the time, and they used to hire an extra person just to help build Christmas Carol and get those three first shows off the ground. At the time, it was Cat on a Hot Tin Roof in the powerhouse, Dracula in the Stimpke, and then Christmas Carol as well. So my first memory is working on wigs for Dracula. What's really funny is that those wigs that I made when I was first here 20 years ago for Dracula, I still use those. And people may not know this, but hair doesn't deteriorate. So it's the fabric that the wig is built upon that will deteriorate before the hair actually deteriorates. Wig making hasn't changed since people started making wigs. The fine detail work is the same as it was since people started wearing wigs in the Egyptian period. It's a craft, it's something that, and it's very important that I, I pass it down and that people continue, because it is a craft to it. It's, it's not something that just anybody can do and you kind of have to have an aptitude for it. The process of making a wig isn't that complicated. The art of it is a little more complicated. I love theater. We're so fortunate that we have three different spaces and that we can give our little flavor of each one. I like doing what I do. I like making hair and make, helping an actor with a wig that is just the final seal. Put a wig on somebody and they're like, well, I don't need a character anymore. After this is my character. I like that, that self-satisfaction. Hi, Rep. Happy 65th anniversary. You never looked so good.